Hello, grade 12 boys and girls. Our section today is hardware. The concepts we will be discussing, mobile technologies, factors influencing performance of a computer, and motivate a typical computer system in respect of the hardware needed for a specific purpose. Mobile technologies. We recognize our smartphone. Okay, a smartphone features an on-screen touch keyboard, which is smaller than your standard computer. Smartphone screens are touch screens. They are also smaller than your desktop screens. Standard computers generally can be fitted with more RAM and faster processors making them better suited to tasks that require significant processing power. Smartphones come standard with communication devices like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, making them better at connecting to the internet by the numerous hotspots anyway in the world. Your desktop computers are more powerful and are better suited for serious computing tasks. Whether it is a processor intensive task, such as encoding videos or inputting large amounts of data. So desktop computers allow for processor intensive tasks and working with large amounts of data. Your high end smartphones are small, easy to carry around and better suited to tasks like reading messages, emails, setting reminders, updating social media accounts, making bank payments, location-based computing, like weather applications or food ordering applications, and augmented reality. Now we will discuss AR on another day. Devices of your mobile devices are small and lightweight. They're easy to carry around and can be used in any location. So this one, this is one advantage of mobility. When you're talking about mobile devices, we talk about smartphones, iPad, and your tablet. They're always on. If you look at your smartphone, it's always on. There's no boot time. Your screen may be off, but your apps are working in the background. It's always connected. That means it's built, it has a built-in cellular connection. So you're able to connect to the internet. It's a convergence device because it combines the functions of many devices into one. For example, your camera, GPS, MP3 player, microphone. There are some of the many features and functions that your smartphones have. Now the constraints with regards to mobile devices. One is your battery life. The more powerful the CPU is, the more battery power is used. To last longer, a bigger battery is required, which means a bigger device. So to keep the devices small, it means you have less power for your CPU. Well, now we're talking about computing power versus power consumption, which relates to your battery. So for more powerful device, that means if you need a powerful CPU, it's going to use more, it's going to consume more power. So the problem for smartphones and tablets is that they have a limited amount of power stored in the battery, limiting your CPU power. Another constraint with size, one will be the battery. You'll have a smaller battery but other physical in, uh, size limits the input. The physical size limits the input. That means you cannot use a full keyboard for large inputs. So your inputs are restricted because of the small screen, the small keyboards. So here's a limited battery size that reduces the power that can be consumed. And reduced screen size limits the application software. So some full scale, full scale applications that you run on desktop are limited, cannot run on your 
smaller screens that you have. All the features are not available because of the limited screen size. This gives you all the advantages and disadvantages of smartphones, which overlaps with what we've discussed recently. There's a few more. It can connect to mobile internet, does not need additional accessories. We're looking at, it can take advantage of location-based computing spoke to you about ordering online as location-based. It has application designed specifically to simplify your life. And the simple ones, easy to carry around. Now if you look at the disadvantages of this, you again, the battery life. So we reinforce the concept of the battery life. The processing power of a CPU is closely linked to the amount of electricity available to it. The more power your CPU uses, the more instructions it can complete. So the problem with smartphones and tablets is that they have limited amount of power stored in the battery. A second major factor affecting mobile computer performance is the ability to get rid of the heat they generate. The CPU, or the more power a CPU uses, the more heat it generates. As a result, any CPU running at full speed generates a lot of heat. Now on desktop computers, the power is supplied to the CPU with a large power supply. And the heat it generates is removed from the CPU using heat sinks and fans. So we have that with desktop, heat sinks and fans, it keeps the computer cool. In terms of your laptop, laptops have more RAM and faster processing devices. Sorry, computers have more RAM and fast, and they're faster processing devices. They make it better suited to tasks that require significant processing or significant power. So laptops work better in terms of a lot of processing than your smartphones. Whenever you discuss advantages and disadvantages, it's good to compare it to something. So here we're comparing the fact that laptops are faster or uh, faster processing devices than your smartphone and they have more power. Gaming and video editing functions are possible on your laptop. Now, there is low power consumption than your desktop. Your laptop consumes power, but less than your desktop. Now your disadvantage is that laptops, they're all, always upgraded frequently. They're new, it's, it's difficult to update your, or upgrade your laptop as you would do on your desktop. So it's difficult to keep up frequent, with frequent upgrades. There's higher pricing. So the same spec to buy on a desktop is priced higher on your laptop. Difficulty in customization. So in terms of modular design, moving components, replacing can be done. Some components can be replaced, but there is difficulty, unlike your desktop. Laptops are often stolen due to its heavy cost. So thieves may use, misuse stolen business data and personal information because you're carrying the laptop around with you. There's a bigger chances a larger chance of it being stolen. Health issues, prolonged use of laptop can cause RSI due to the flat keyboard and trackpad pointing devices. The integrated screen of the laptop often causes the users to hunch for a better view and that can cause neck or spinal injuries. That's your health issues when using laptops. Now durability, Due to its high portability, laptops are subject to more wear and tear as, as opposed to your desktop. So your laptop is subject to more wear and tear. Factors influencing the performance of a computer. Your CPU, your memory capacity, are two of the factors that affect the performance of your computer. 
we'll discuss this in the next video.